Game console repairs. In this video, I'll be showing how to replace a Nintendo Wii lens module. The reason you may have to replace your lens module are suppose your Wii doesn't read Wii games. The very common messages are when you insert a disc and when you go to your disc channel, uh, you get a message unable to read the disc. Check the Wii operations manual for help troubleshooting. Other message you get is an error has occurred. Press the eject button and remove the disc and turn the Wii console off and refer to the Wii operations manual for help troubleshooting. These are the very common errors you get uh, when you have a failed or a weak lens. Other indications are suppose your game freezes during gameplay or a very slow loading of the Wii games. These are the indications uh, that you may need to replace your lens module. Uh, in order to replace your lens module, these are the tools required. You need a Phillips zero screwdriver, you need Phillips one screwdriver, you need tri-wing screwdriver, you need scalpel or micro ten precision screwdriver and tweezers. One last thing, you need a soldering iron 30 to 40 watt, preferably a reasonable soldering station is always handy. Uh, soldering iron is needed only uh, when you purchase the brand new lens uh, it comes with the anti-static point so you have to desolder that that's the point that you have to desolder normally if you purchase the lens uh, from our store you have the option uh, we can desolder this for you and then you won't be needing uh, the soldering iron okay let's get going Game console repairs. In this video, I'll be going through a small analysis troubleshooting process of the Nintendo Wii DVD drive. The issue here is Wii doesn't read DVD discs or Wii games. Uh, we'll be testing out four aspects of the Wii DVD drive. Uh, we'll test out uh, insert feed mechanism, we'll test out uh, Wii magnetic spindle motor, uh, laser movement assembly and actual laser or lens module okay uh, let's test out all these four aspects uh, one by one very first thing let's insert a disc let's try to insert a disc and see if it accepts it okay it's accepting the disc that means uh, the insert feed mechanism is fine the second step is uh, to see if the when the disc is inserted it actually spins if the disc is spinning then that means uh, the magnetic motor assembly is fine as well. The easier way to find is you can hear it actually if the disc is spinning. Um, and when you insert a disc it beeps uh, for a brief period of time so you know that actually that it's actually trying to read the disc. Okay so these two things are fine. The third thing is let's click on here and let's see what happens that's the message you get unable to read the disk uh, check the Wii operations manual for help troubleshooting uh, there could be two issues now uh, the laser movement assembly or the lens has failed uh, in order to rule out what the problem here is you need to open up your Wii and check to see when the disk is inserted uh, the laser movement assembly it actually moves back and forth when the disk is inserted if it is then the issue is the failed lens Many a times it is actually the failed lens. Uh, what we'll do in the next uh, video, I'll open it up and just to confirm uh, the issue is whether in the laser module or in the movement assembly. Uh, either way, we'll, whatever the issue is, we'll replace with the brand new lens or we'll replace with the brand new uh, laser movement assembly. Okay, let's get going. Let's open our V. Step 1 take off the GameCube and the memory card covers. So, simply just check the pattern and simply take them off. This comes off. Next, uh, remove these three screws.
Next, remove this plastic cover. Um, next, uh, remove the two driving screws here using your driving screwdriver. Next, um, remove these two stickers and these two rubber pads. So grab your scalpel and remove the two stickers. Grab your micro turn precision screw driver and remove these two rubber pads. So there are four driving screws here. These two are silver and two black. Okay, next um, remove this sticker using your scalpel. And Remove this rubber red here. Simply unscrew all these screws. So that's this one is a driving. Now we are able to remove our faceplate. Uh, you have to be gentle with it. So you can lift it up. Um, but don't lift it all the way as its uh, power cable is still connected. So just to show you, that's the cable it's connected with. Simply, so that's the cable. Simply disconnect it first. So this comes off. And now you can simply pull up the top cover this comes off next we'll remove the DVD drive alright uh, we got a few experiments to conduct here just to rule out whether the problem is in the laser motor assembly or the lens module Okay, I've got another V D V D drive here just to show you where the laser motor is located. So that's our laser motor. Um, it's connected with four wires uh, to our PCB board. Um, suppose um, you get a message uh, unable to be uh, unable to read the disk, or um, an error has occurred. Uh, sometimes there's an issue. Uh, with the motor so you have to replace with the new motor uh, second is uh, plain and simple lens failed and it uh, if this is working then there's a chance that um, uh, lens has failed okay all right let's conduct the test uh, to see if the lens is working or not I've got our original V which is here and I've got a proper functioning uh, V in order to see whether the lens is functioning uh, that's a good test so all you will do is connect up your V and insert a disc and see if there is a red light here if there is a red light that means um, you know the lens is functioning if there is no red light that means you know uh, the lens has failed okay in order to check the red light Uh, just you have to view it in a dark room actually so I'm just going to zoom in I'm going to turn on the V and insert a disc just to show you uh, when when a laser is actually working okay so insert a disc And just examine here, so see if there is a red light. Okay, there you go, it uh, has read the disc fine. Uh, that means the lens is working in this V and everything. 
uh, now we'll, what I'll do I'll uh, put back our original V and see if the lens is actually working or not so just a sec so I'm going to take out the eject the disc from this V and disconnect the power and plug back our original Wii. Okay, let's turn it on and see if there is any red light there. Set a disk. Okay, it's spinning. There is no red light. That means uh, it's a lens failure. So laser movement or well, laser motor assembly is fine. It's actually the lenses issue here. What we'll do, we'll replace with the brand new lens and test it out. Uh, so this rules out that the problem is actually in the lens module. And as you can see, I'll just turn the light on and you'll see the disc has stopped spinning as well. And the lens has pretty much failed. Okay, let's replace with the new lens module. In order to remove the DVD drive, uh, we need to take off the four screws located here. One, two, three, and four. Simply unscrew. Lift up the DVD drive now, but don't lift it all the way as there is a um, power cable connected. So just to show you, that's the power cable and the data cable that's connected and the power cable is actually tucked in there so all you need to do is just untuck it remove it from there and now take off the power cable and disconnect the data cable as well our DVD drive is removed we'll be working with the DVD drive now flip it over Disconnect all the cables. So the three cables one, two, three. Next, uh, there are two screws here that we need to remove. Uh, before doing that, take off the sticker or tape. Next, um, you can simply lift up your PCB. Ideally, you would want to uh, remove the PCB. There are wires stuck in here. You can simply untuck it from this clip, from these as well, and remove it. But um, when you put it back together, it's a bit of a hassle. So we'll just remove it as is. Uh, next, um, just simply um, have it like this way and uh, unscrew this screw. Um, next, um, grab your micro turn pristine screwdriver. Uh, there are four clips that you need to unclip on uh, this metal piece here. So, the first one is this. Um, you can use a bit of force and bend it. Um, um, you can easily unbend it when you put it when you put it back together. So simply. So, and 
the other two are here. So the first one, and the last here. Simply now uh, push it that way, and you can lift up the metal piece. Okay, so this comes off. Uh, next, uh, we'll be removing this metal bar here. In order to remove that, we need to take off this screw, lift up this plastic piece and gently push it. Okay, so take off the screw first. Uh, next, lift up this plastic piece. Gently move it from here first. Push it. Okay, and you can simply now remove it. So that's removed. Once that's removed, uh, the laser can be removed easily. So simply pull out your lens module. Okay, and this comes off. That's our old lens module, so grab your new one. That's our new one. We need to take off this plastic gear and place it onto the new one. A new lens is ready. Let's place it back in the V. So grab your drive. So it goes like this. Move the drive board out of the way and just place it in there and that's it. Next uh, grab your metal bar, slide it in, just align it with these two holes here simply and Next, uh, put back this screw. Next, grab your metal piece and align it with the four corners. Um, it should um, be clipped in. Okay, align the laser cable first. here okay so this goes in in there next clip this one clip this end clip this one and clip this one Make sure these are firmly clipped in. Okay, next uh, we'll put back this screw. Next, uh, just align your PCB. There are a couple of clips here. Move this cable out of the way. 
Okay, once it fits in like this. Um, we can put back these two screws and connect the cables. Unclip it and slide the cable in. Next, place this tape back on the laser cable. Um, connect the other two cables. Almost done. Uh, one last point. Now we have to desolder the anti static point on the laser. Okay. So I'll zoom in, grab your hot soldering iron, and we'll be just desoldering this anti static point. Simply desolder it, remove the point. That's it. Our drive is ready. Um, let's put it back in the V and test it out and see if it works. Next, uh, let's place our drive back in the V. So, connect the, these two cables, the power cable and the data cable. Now make sure you tuck this um, under here. So this goes, this gets tucked in there. So it should go all the way. And then just Line the four, line it with these four holes. Okay. Um, let's put back these four screws. Next, uh, before putting our top cover and other bits, uh, let's just do a quick test to see everything's functioning. Alright, I've connected the V and turned it on just to see if we have a functioning lens. I'm going to insert a disc and see if we get a red light here. Uh, if we have the red light that means we have a functioning lens and um, the drive is reading the discs successfully. Okay, simply monitor this. There you go. So. We have replaced the lens module successfully. I'm just going to switch to TV just to show you that it's reading the game fine as well. So as you can see there, it's read the eSports scan disk fine. So it's reading the game fine. Once we know everything is functional, let's put back our top and the remaining bits of the V. Okay, grab your top and simply align these metal bars, these holes here. So, next, um, you can grab your face plate and place it in there. Make sure the cable goes in the right way. Now 
next place all these screws put back the rubber pad and your plastic sticker next I will be placing the two black driving screws here and the two silver driving screws place the stickers back in its places and place the rubber pads as well Next, we'll be placing the two driving screws here. Put back the plastic case. Uh, simply align these uh, with these holes. Next, we'll be placing the two small screws here and one um, slightly larger than the other two. Next, uh, place your GameCube slot cover back in its place. Clip it in and place your memory card cover. All done. Thank you. watching our video please go to www.gc-repairs.com to purchase all the tools and accessories you need for your gaming needs. Thank you.